What does the work look like? It's meditation. Yeah. It's finding the present moment, it's getting into the unknown, it's getting beyond myself, disconnecting from my body, getting beyond any thought of anyone or anything, getting beyond time, moving beyond space and time. Turns out when you focus on nothing, there are so many amazing things that happen to your brain. I've seen the scans over and over again. What have you seen in the scans? <clears throat> well, there's this thing in the brain called modularity. And when we're living uh, by the hormones of stress, and stress is when you can't predict something, when you can't control something, or you have the perception that something's going to get worse. You switch on that fight or flight nervous system, and, and the rush of those chemicals causes us to become alert, to become aroused. And we narrow our focus on the material world. And so when you're not able to control everything in your life and you can't predict everything in your life, you start shifting your attention to everyone and everything, every person, every object, every place. We've all had that experience when we're under stress. And every one of those people, those objects, those things, those places has a neurological network in the brain. So like a lightning storm in the clouds, the brain begins to fire out of order, very incoherently. It becomes modulated or compartmentalized. It's a house divided against itself, and those individual compartments don't talk to the rest of the brain. And we tend to get over-focused. You never notice when you're under stress, you're obsessing about something, you're over-focusing about something, you're overthinking something, you're over-analyzing, you're driving your brain higher and higher into higher states of arousal, high beta brainwave patterns. We discovered that if you teach a person to go from a narrow focus on something physical, something material, and broaden their focus, open their awareness and put their attention on space, on nothing, and create what's called a divergent focus. The act of sensing and no longer analyzing thinking begins to slow the brain waves down from that beta brain wave state to a low level beta and then all of a sudden to alpha. If they keep doing it, sensing space tends to cause those different compartments that were modulated or divided to begin to synchronize. And what sinks in the brain actually links in the brain. So the brain starts firing in a more holistic state. In other words, every single area of the brain is resonating at the same frequency. And now the brain is functioning as one neurological network instead of individuals. And that kind of holism, that kind of order feels really good. It feels really good. And so people practice slowing their brain waves down, not only to get beyond the analytical mind, but to cause the brain to fire in a more coherent way. And if we're going to have a clear intention about what we want, the more coherent the brain, the clearer the intention. So we've seen in seven days, even in four days, these dramatic changes in the levels of coherence and order that take place in the brain. The brain's firing in a more holistic state. That's when the person notices the change in their anxiety and the depression and their PS PTSD, whatever it is, there's more order in the brain. And, and uh, the act of focusing on nothing and opening your awareness to space creates that kind of amazing change. Did you set an intention this morning? I did.